This is the Newton's Cradle made by Serapi. I picked this up at the bin store for $12. It retails for about $60. And it demonstrates the law of conservation of momentum and the law of conservation of kinetic energy or just energy. But what I've done here to show that you can kind of trick it a little is I put a little piece of tape on two of the balls. So now when you swing one ball from the right side, two balls swing out from the left side, but then two balls swing out from the right side. So I think this has something to do with the separation between the balls. I mean, I know it's like two formulas. Kinetic energy is one half mv squared and momentum is mv. So by that ruling, that's why when two balls swing out on that side, two balls have to swing out on this side. But there's also the, the concept that one ball transfers its momentum to the next ball. The next ball transfers its momentum to the next ball and so on and so forth until there's no other ball at the end to transfer the momentum to and the ball moves. So to kind of trick it, let's take one ball out. And it still works. It's a little, um, it's a little confused by it, but. I just find that interesting. I think it has something to do with the balls having a little tiny bit of space in between them. But I'm not sure. There's like guys on the internet that say it's purely because of the laws of physics. And there's guys who say it's, it's because the momentum gets transferred from one ball to the next ball to the next ball until it can't go any further. Now I'm going to remove the piece of tape. And I'm going to do some, just show you one ball and one ball goes out the other side, but you see the one next to it goes a little bit. So now if you stop one side, the other side stops too. Notice that. So now I'll swing three balls, and you'll see three balls swing out the other side. But the ball in the middle does move. So I think there's, a, there's just a tinge of doubt in my mind about the laws of physics that make this work. Because when you put that piece of tape there, you have two balls fly out on this side, and one ball transferring the momentum into one side. So that's just my thinking. I don't know what other people think. I mean, this is a lot deeper than it looks at first. So I'm just wondering what people think. So please post a comment if you have any other theories or deeper knowledge of this. I've studied a little physics. So I, I'm familiar with the derivation of kinetic energy and the formula one half mv squared and the conservation of kinetic energy and, and potential energy and kinetic energy. So I have no doubt that that explains it, but I do have a little doubt. So that's all I want to say in this video. So let me know and thanks for watching and stay tuned.